From the desperate years of the Great Depression to the daunting challenges we face today, JVS has offered innovative solutions to help people lift themselves out of poverty and over barriers, bringing hope and opportunity to our diverse Los Angeles community. As we celebrate our 85th anniversary, these three stories offer a glimpse into the power of JVS programs to build better lives, one job at a time. Remaining in an abusive marriage for over 30 years, Deborah Smith kept silent, despite an ocean of tears, countless emergency room visits, and even a mild stroke. Finally, after decades of fear and violence, she escaped. I definitely led a double life. Uh, I led a public life that looked like the perfect, you know, white picket fence family. And then we had held this horrible secret when we would go home. Many women go through this and they never say anything. And you don't hear about them until you read, see it on the news. I had a dress, the shoes that I was wearing in a wallet. That's all I walked out with, I had nothing else. When I began to recover, I, I moved from crisis to a transitional housing. And I knew it started with going back into uh, a place where I could become self-sufficient. I found the JVS WorkSource Center. When Deborah told her career coach about her situation, the first thing she did was refer to Woe Mentoring. Well, Mentoring is a career development program that matches women in transition with expert career mentors in their field. Diane paired me with the most amazing cheerleader and coach, my confidant, Lori Lawrence. She came to me at a time when I really needed that, and I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for her. Because Deborah had experience in banking, her career coach recommended she apply to the BankWorks program. The program definitely helped me get back in gear in the industry. BankWorks is a free eight-week intensive program that prepares people for jobs in banking industries, such as personal bankers or tellers. It includes job placement. The class definitely prepared me to dive back into my banking career. The BankWorks program allowed me to shine. They didn't realize they were kind of like a family for me. Deborah was an excellent student. Lisa was the only one uh, that knew that I was in a shelter. She's one of the most courageous people I've met. Following the BankWorks graduation, Deborah received multiple offers. I've actually hired several team members from the program, and they've done a fantastic job. Wells Fargo training was quite challenging. That meant leaving her residence at 4.30 in the morning. I took two buses, the Metro Rail, the Metro Link, and then a two-mile walk. She and I worked together to apply for a grant from the WLN, an amazing group of philanthropic women. The grant paid for Deborah's rental car for the six weeks of training. It gave me peace of mind and confidence that I could now go to class and be able to be 100%. Working at Wells Fargo makes me feel like I'm a part of something bigger than myself. I work full-time. I am the Community Business Relationship Specialist for Wells Fargo, which allows me to give back. Having Deborah uh, here at Wells Fargo is such an asset. She has impacted the community so much. She's an amazing banker. She's an amazing person. The JVS program and staff were my mentors, my confidant, my support team. The WLN conference allowed me to tell my personal story and be able to give back to other women. I fled to a battered women's shelter, leaving my entire life behind. I had no money, no car, no home. But for the first time in 30 years, I held my own future in my hands. I wish I could go out and thank each and every donor that helped me because they changed my life. I am in a great place in my life right now. I am peaceful. I am looking toward the future. And at, at midlife, I'm starting over. James Acosta grew up in a tough neighborhood in New York. When he was 10, his mother moved the family back to Puerto Rico, hoping to find work and a better life. What followed instead was continued struggle. 
It's really hard to talk about my past. I started writing music because it helps me express myself. I don't want to think about the past. Everything goes bad. My dad left the house and never turned back. My mom is crying because we didn't have no food and no money. She hugged me say, don't worry, honey. So Everything changed when my dad left the house. Outside my family, I was surrounded by drugs, gangs. It's the lifestyle that I've been through. We left New York and we went to Puerto Rico. It was way harder, no jobs or anything. So my mom thought that we should move to Los Angeles, to California, because she was thinking that we would have more opportunity. I met this friend and this t-shirt. They told me about JVS, about the teen center. The city of Santa Monica's teen center and JVS partnered to provide programs and on-the-job training for youth. When I first met James, he appeared to have no employability skills. What he really did have is he had heart, he had desire, he had willingness, and he had drive. The music program at the Virginia Avenue Park really brought James out of his shell. She was on me to be better. She was actually like a grandma for me. She was strict, but that's what I really needed. Lewis, one of the key staff members at the park, agreed to be his worksite supervisor and has been instrumental in nurturing and supporting James. Lydia enrolled James in every program possible. I realized like this person really cares and she really wants me to find a job. She guided me. She also started to push me to get my diploma and I started to go to school at night. We helped James find his job at Starbucks because we're both a part of a national initiative to increase youth employment. I really felt prepared thanks to Lydia and Lewis. So I was confident in the interview. When I got the call from Starbucks, they told me, hey James, you're hired. And then I was like, you know, like, like I got this job. My mom was excited, my sister, everyone was just proud of me. He has a friendly attitude and the customers really like him. Frappuccino, thank you. Yes, sir. He has been elected partner of the quarter. We like working on top. Awesome. I really enjoy to work at Starbucks. My co-workers, Hello. they're awesome. I'm learning a lot. The way I see him learning, he could be a ship supervisor within a few months. Now that I have this job, I can help my mom pay the rent, buy food. I feel like more responsible. I want to show the people my feelings, my thoughts, and the way I see life. I really want to be a rapper. The next thing I want to do is to go to Santa Monica College to get more education and to be a better writer and have more English. My goal is to be a firefighter. They save other people's lives and that's what really matters. I just want to make myself better, a better person, a better man. I'm really thankful to Lydia and JVS for their support and for their help. You did an amazing job. I will never forget you guys. Thank you. Roland Williams was honorably discharged from the Army after serving for six years. He returned home to Georgia and became a police officer before relocating to California. Roland worked in sales until he faced a devastating series of layoffs. His marriage ended, and when his savings and his options ran out, he found himself on the street. For 10 months I lived in my storage. I was surrounded by steel. It was just me by myself. I slept on the floor in a little five by five box. Here I am, educated, former police officer, former military, but I'm living on the streets. I remember walking, coming back from an interview. I didn't have any bus money. I tore up two pairs of shoes. The divorce was easy, but being away from Eliana, and Emily as well, that's Eliana's sister. That was hard. It's been a long three years. Roland was in the GAIN program, which helps people transition from welfare to work. I went to the JVS Work Source Center, Monday through Friday, between six and eight hours a day, religiously. And it was a flyer in regards to the Apartment Works program. I never forget it, I was so happy because I knew once I saw that flyer, that I had a chance to do something really different with my life. I called Brenda Corona, and I went down and I had the interview with her and Denise. He had gone through so many things where he had seemed like dead ends and no hope. 
And I knew this man had so much potential from the moment that I met him. The Apartment Works program was the best. We were training individuals to become apartment maintenance technicians. Painting, interior, exterior repairs, HVAC, electrical, and plumbing. Roland was one of our superstar students. They really prepare you to not only get the job done, but be very professional at it. From the testing to the interview process, from training, that program make you feel like a human being. As soon as we found out Roland was homeless, we knew immediately we had to do something, which is why we contacted Anthony at Veterans First. We genuinely had a great sense of urgency and a, and a great concern in our hearts for him. We're just not gonna let him stay like that. It was Anthony that helped me get into transitional housing. Anthony and the rest of his staff would personally call me from their cell phone just to make sure that I was okay. Roland, you all right. You need something to eat, meet me here. We also transitioned him into a job right in the field immediately after graduation. Graduation from apartment works was probably one of the best moments of my entire life. I was pumped. I was excited, and I knew at that moment in time that I was going to get hired. When we met Roland, it was clear that, you know, he was a special person. We wanted to bring him into our communities and have him be a part of our company. And i never forget just talking with John Smith and, you know, him shaking my hand and just telling me, welcome aboard. Roland's doing phenomenal. Uh, he's actually one of our top performing associates. We can always count on him. Roland was just impacting the level of customer service we were able to provide to our residents. From the moment he stepped on site, it was just like a, a, an energy of positivity that he brought to the table. Copy that. I tell everyone, Avalon Bay is like one of the best companies to work for. Given that speech, it was awesome to me to actually share with a group of individuals that was in need, I'm sure. It seemed like yesterday I was sitting exactly. Matter of fact, in that seat right there, it was tough. Um, but thank God I made it. I'm very inspired by this gentleman. We wanted to do whatever possible to help him gain that housing. Pushing those boxes and moving all of my personal belongings out of that unit was something that I've been waiting for for months. Avalon Bay gave me an employee discount. They made it happen. Real keys. <laughs> we actually in my new home. Oh man, nice view. It's lovely. It felt so great, finally, that I can actually bring my stuff home. Like all the chaos and drama was just behind me now. Very humble and very grateful. Such an overwhelming feeling of freedom. My daughter, Eliana, she's seven years old. Man, we're going to be a family again. That was the importance of having a place again. I can just jump to the moon right about now.